Welcome to African Farming. I'm Batabile Muridwani. Amazing technologies are constantly developed to help farmers farm better. One of these technologies include GMO seeds. Genetically modified maize has built-in resistance to disruptive pests like stock borrowers and bollworms. And because it is also tolerant to certain herbicides, this makes the weed management even easier. Today, by far, the majority of South African maize crops consists of GMO plantings. Promoting the responsible use of these technologies is CropLife South Africa, a non-profit industry association. The African farming team paid a visit to Senelizo Fakade, a 29-year-old successful commercial farmer in Yugi, all the way in the Eastern Cape. He tells us more about his farming practices and how GMO technologies help him farm better. Take a look. Grain farming with our operation consists of maize, soyas, sorghum, uh, wheat and oats. We are a minimal tillage operation, so we try to disturb the soil as little as possible. So we are heading towards a more precise uh, um, and towards perhaps no, a no-till direction as we go along. So, so currently it's a matter of, you know, minimal disturbance. So we don't plow, we just disc deep rip and, and then and then fine tune the soil for with a, with a duck harrow and then plant and then carry on with the processes thereafter. We are an area that's very fortunate in terms of rainfall. Um, we, we, we are an area where we've got you know some red soils on the farm, uh, red deep soils, so the potential is quite high. Uh, we also in an area fortunately to, to be in a position where our rainfall is above average uh, in terms of the Eastern Cape. So we're in a 700, 800 millimeter rainfall area. And, and with deep soils, with dryland production, we're averaging no less than seven tons if everything's done correctly. We, we've obviously gone for a GMO uh, operation in terms of our cultivars that we implement, uh, BT and, and obviously Roundup Ready. And the whole intention there is, is because we, we do suffer from you know, uh, various pests and diseases in the area because of our humidity and, and our rainfall. And, and, and so our maize is, is susceptible to things like rust and, and um, you know, stock borer, etc. So we tend to, to, to direct our production towards uh, a BT in that regard. And um, in terms of cultivar, we obviously I use various suppliers and our practice is obviously to make sure that we've got minimal insect or, or should I say pest resistant in terms of our maize. So we do do refuge uh, exercises as well within, within our production of grain. With our refuge, we, we plant a, um, a non-BT maize uh, cultivar and as well as a conventional or control at least. And that's, that's the way we just make sure that, you know, there's no uh, resistance in terms of insects, uh, specifically stock borer as well. So, so that's the only reason really we, we, we plant a refuge within our crop lines. We do obviously spray uh, and that's pretty much the, the, the heaviest we go. Uh, uh, we spray about four times, uh, depending on the infestation or depending on the problem that we can see. Obviously this year was a wet year, uh, so fungicide was, had to be done more than the original. Um, and so generally Rocky Park you would find that we spray four times, especially our maize. I'm very fortunate to have a, a contact and a relationship with the seed suppliers that supply our seeds. So there's constant um, 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 discussions around, you know, what is the latest uh, seed to come out, you know, in terms of resistance. And obviously one does ha has to do a lot of research as well. So in my spare time, ways to improve, you know, my crop, you know, what, what is the latest cultivar that is resistant. And I look at obviously our area as well. So those are the basic ways I stay up to date with the latest seed technologies and developments. We're very fortunate to be looking at a, at a bumper crop. Um, and I think our maize in terms of our yield is looking extremely promising, better than what we, re we received last year, if we do the projections well. And we've had guys come in and assess. So we do have a second, a third and a fourth opinion in some instances with regards to what could possibly be a very good yield this year. An inspiring story indeed. Thank you so much, Senelizwe. For more information on the responsible use of these GMO technologies, visit croplife.co.za. The conversation does not have to stop here. Engage with us at hashtag African Farming or AfricanFarming.com. And remember, we farm better together.
get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.